Hello, welcome to another vlog. I'm back. It feels like I've been gone for ages on the vlogs. All aboard, family. All aboard. Lovely. Let's go. The jog shop. Narrowed it down. See with the new balances, these new balances, or these Essex. Gotta say, it's a little bit of a walk out from like main Brighton, but if you're ever in Brighton and you want to get some shoes, the jog shop is the place to go. Very, very nice guys in there, sorted me right out. And um, I have found the right shoe for me. Now I've got to try and hunt down Diane and try and find out where she is. And more importantly, what she's bought. And I found her in Oliver Bonus. Or that's how you pronounce it? Oliver Bonus. No, what do you call it? I don't know. What Olivia I say? Bonus. Do that. I <laughs> yeah. look at Bonus. What is the trip to Brighton without a stop at Joe and the Juice? Um, and it's very exciting because. Joe and the Juice have got this new breakfast, all day breakfast menu. Um, full disclosure, I am a Joe Bassador. I'm an ambassador, a Joe and the Juice ambassador. Um, and this is the all day breakfast pot or bowl. Thank you, my love. For Diana. Is there any forks in there? Uh, forking, no, there isn't. They forgot our forks. I just asked for straws. We've also got in here the, the breakfast wine, which I'm going to try when we get home. This and this. And you had your tea, didn't you? I had my tea. And hazelnut squares. Look at this for a shot. We've got the wide angle going. Yeah. We've got the wireless mic. Hello, hello. Oh, I know, you've got your wireless mic on. Yeah. Uh, sunglasses are on because it's actually a nice day. Diane and myself are heading into Brighton. Are you doing a weekly vlog? Or Hove. I have no idea. The sun is shining. The weather is sweet. We are heading down towards the beachfront um, to actually get a... Uh, Tan. <laughs> well, hopefully a tan and a snotted. Um, no, more importantly, it's Good Friday, which means it's like a long weekend. Easter weekend's begun. It is Good Friday. It's a the, good Friday. The sunroof's open. I'm having a facial, by the way. She's so, so good, this lady. But this, uh, this is something that Diane goes to, um, and I've never, I've, I've, I don't know what to expect. Um, but I am actually looking forward to it. I think I'm well overdue a facial. Yeah, However, I think it's sort of well timed as well because my face at the moment, for some reason, I've just had a massive outbreak of spots. So it's going to be nice to um, let her have a look at it and try and figure out what it is. Why is it I'm 32 years old and I'm still getting spots like a teenager? I think it's to do with your gut. How many 32? We have to do our Zoe as well. Oh, yeah, God, that's another thing. We've got this um, Zoe. Did you fart? No. Oh. I think I just smell. We've got this Zoe thing, which uh, you plug into your arm and it'll tell you what foods you need to be eating and how many, um, you've got a poo in a tray. How and about next week, instead of going away, that we do our Zoe? I think maybe that's a good idea, yeah. It's, it's all about the health this year. Um, and uh, yeah, so a reminder, next week we've got to do, a, do our Zoe. How many other 32 year olds are out there that also have um, spots all the time? I think a lot. Do you reckon? Right, we've arrived. You're excited. Diane's just in the best Paradise Park I've ever seen you do. Yeah. I'm, I'm very proud of you. But we've arrived at Clinic 55 Degrees. My eyes and you were in here, so I was like, hang on a minute. Were you the one? What if I'm being pranked? <laughs> I look different. I don't want to laugh in case I ruin a mask, but um, very good. You look great. Yeah, thank you. I feel what, great. What is these little... Well, they're not spots. Imagine if you came out with like just acting like that, like properly <laughs> lined up. <laughs> All very really neat. It's part of the mask, but Diane's um, recommendation. A success. I've got to have this on for a few more minutes, then I'm going to go and do some light therapy. I'll put me in front of these special lights that just kill bacteria in my skin and reduce redness, I think. Mm -hmm. How about you get away from my face? You jumped forward in time. It's now Easter morning, Easter Sunday. This is the main day, isn't it? Yes. Like Good Friday is a warm up. Saturday is like a nothing, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Yeah, there was nothing yesterday. No, Saturday is just Easter Saturday. Okay, and then today is Easter Sunday. Tomorrow, tomorrow is just bank holiday. Easter Monday. What does Easter Monday mean? It means the day that something happened. But it's a day off work. Supposedly. Yeah. I've only just woken up. Diane's been up for a while. She's already done her weights. I feel like you've also done something. I've got a feeling you've done something downstairs. What? I don't know. Knowing you, you've done something. Ooh. Piece of candy. Who has been dropping chocolate all round the house? 
Is it you, <laughs> by any chance? Ooh. Malteser orange? Yeah. Yes. Hi guys, and welcome to my Easter chocolate haul. I found 10 whole Malteser orange uh, bunnies for Easter day. Diane loves, because you, you re used to do this a lot when you were younger, didn't you? Oh my God, mum used to like, from the air conditioning vent, she'd <laughs> get up and put fur on the air conditioning vent because she'd say that's where the Easter bunny would come in through. So every year, Diane To be fair, I don't know whether it was mum or whether it was Andrew. Or whether it was the actual Easter bunny. Or whether it was the actual <laughs> Easter bunny. New running shoe reveal time. I've forgotten if I actually showed you in the previous bit of the vlog. <laughs> These, out of all the shoes I tried on, this is the first pair that I tried on and I was like, oh my word, this feels good on my feet. And the guy in the running shop said, yep, they'll be the ones. From looking at my feet, you could just tell exactly which one it would be. I then went on to try like 10 other shoes in that shop because I'll be honest, these would not be my first pick in terms of aesthetics slash colorway slash look. But being honest with myself, after trying so many other like cooler looking pairs of shoes on, I was like, these aren't for show. These aren't to look good. These are for being able to run in good and feel good and be able to get some long mileage in them. So I ended up going for this pair. I didn't even ask if they had them in a different colorway. Um, it's not even like a navy. It's like, it's like a purpley navy color with like lime green. But, do you know what? They're gonna grow on me. Um, and already my feet are feeling good in these bad boys. So I definitely think this was the right decision. Um, this is really interesting how, obviously the, the guy, who I'm, I'm presuming is an expert, straight away knew that these would be the ones from looking at my feet, seeing the curvature of my feet and stuff like that. Let's give these guys a go. Well, shoes are holding up very nicely. Yeah, love them, aren't you? But be honest, how do they look? Not bad. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. They suit you. Oh, God. What does that say about me? Last week end, we went for the same run. We're not doing the same. We're not doing the same because it's a bit too far. But um, we're doing a, we're running the same route we ran last weekend. And um, about this point, I was starting to get blisters already on my, on the inside. Oh, inset. you complained about it. Oh, yes. So it's nice to be this far in the, in the run and not have blisters. Huzzah, it's a win. It's an Easter miracle. Well, it must be said. That was a good run and a, a great, including the Easter egg hunt this morning, a great okay. start to the day. A great, great start to the day. I have no knee pain at all after that run. I mean, we only did like a five, I say, I say only, we did a five, five and a half K run, but knee feels fine, no blisters, toes feel fine, everything in my feet feels good. It's just nice to be back running again without feeling like my body's falling apart. Do you remember I did that? What is it? Oh my God. In the old flat? Yeah. That was definitely a lockdown thing, wasn't it? No. We probably still have some of those chocolates lying around now. You know on Valentine's Day when some guys um, fill their girlfriend's room entirely with red roses? Yeah. That's like your equivalent of that, but with chocolates on Easter. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, is this for me? What, for me? Can you have, because Diane was like, why don't you have a croissant with scrambled eggs? I really want scrambled egg. But I feel like that's borderline legal, isn't it? You can't have scrambled egg with a croissant. It's like sweet and savory. <laughs> Run breakfast of croissant and scrambled egg. I'm not convinced. I was about to put ketchup on there and I thought, actually, can you have ketchup on croissant? I feel like I'm breaking all sorts of laws here. Diane has made the rocky road. And I tried this yesterday and it's actually phenomenal. We're gonna take some Zoe and Alfie's now because we are off to Zoe and Alfie's for an Easter egg hunt. Yes, we, are. we did this last year, and last year it was whoever could find the most Easter eggs, and each Easter egg's worth a different amount of points. But if you found the little golden rabbit, you get a bonus prize. Uh, and I didn't win the most eggs last year, but I did find the golden rabbit. Um, and I won a load of scratch cards, which arguably I thought was a better prize. Um, 
Had a few winners in that. Very, very happy with myself. So I think I'm going to do the same tactic this year. I'm not going to go guns blazing. I'm not going to try and get as many eggs as possible. Um, I'll leave that for Diane. But instead, I'm just going for that golden rabbit. No teamwork. There is only one winner. <laughs> <laughs> in the event Can you pretend to be Claudia Winkleman, please? Yeah, go on. The yeah. In the event that two people grab an egg at the same time, it is whoever touched it first slash is gracious enough to give it to the other person. Oh. Oh. Like, I'm going to be counting all the eggs at the end. The winner will be announced. After the egg on BBC <laughs> One. Hang on a minute. How come you're playing? You live here. No, I haven't seen any of them. The eggs are not hidden upstairs, so there's no point going upstairs. And that, and you don't have to open. Yeah, inside and outside. Yeah. You don't have to open any cupboards, so you don't need to be like rummaging. I'm like whether to start outside or inside. I'm like our chances. Either way. We're a team. No. You go inside, I'll go outside. No, this is like the failures. Okay. Absolutely not. We're not a team. Okay. <laughs> right. I've got, I've got some. Strong start. You've got to go slow in this game. You've got to take your time and you find loads. Oh, I can't bother with that one. Oh, missed one. Sorry, north east, south, north east, south, west. North east, south, west. No. No, 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 Well. They're the most points, the oh, small ones, yeah. I got a fair few little dinkers. Oh, that would have been a good place actually. Any, any more? Uh, yeah. Really? Well, here. <laughs> <laughs> this is so bad. Here you go, Joe. No, I'm giving oh. you a phone back. <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting your family something good. No, come on, just help a brother out. Oh, carrot. I love that you chased me. Well, you you follow me. Because you always lead me to the rabbit. She's found the rabbit! Yes! yes. It, was, it was in there! Yes. 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 Stop! Yes. Found the rabbit! Yes! yes. The rabbit! Oh. Yes, oh. Winner, winner! Oh, look after these. A sparkling apple juice. How did you do in the actual egg hunt, though, Dot? Did you get a lot of eggs? I feel like I got a lot of big ones. I got no, I got a lot of carrots. Are they worth a lot? Yeah, they're good. They're good. I'm not a fan of this new rule, by the way. This so now. That's very clever. First egg of mine's been opened, and it says take fifty points off. Yes. Oh, maybe this is add 50 points. Add 50 points. Put your finger up your bum to get 10 extra points. 20 points deducted. Oh, yeah. I hate this game. <laughs> it is like no, hang game. about. What? Extra 30 points. Yes! They open one of her eggs. It's got a scratch. I, I lose 50 points. Diane gets a scratch card in her. That's amazing. Oh. There's another one. What? Imagine if you scratch one like a hundred. No, no. Oh my god, 13. You got 13 scratch cards. And that's a lucky number. Do you want me to look after them? Five yeah. carrots. Right, so in a in a crazy twist of events, we've ended up in a paddle, a paddle palace. We're playing paddle for the very first time. We bought no, Alfie this. Say, we we bought Alfie this for Christmas. He's got his own balls. But I feel like we're about to get well. Yeah, we, similar. similar. But that's the that's a bit a bit nicer. Oh, but we've never played paddle before, have we? Played pickleball at Christmas. I mean, I'm I'm thinking about how the ball is it pickleball. So, but you can give it some beans by the look of it, and it can go off the back wall. But we've got ourselves a court. Let's see how we get on. Yes, yeah, Dot. <laughs> Dot's got the looper. Oh! She's got it moving. She's got it moving. Ah, oh. I have been here for two minutes and I've already fallen over and injured myself. Oh, it's properly bleeding. Is that bleeding or is that grit in there? Guys? That's gonna hurt come winter. Nice start. Whoa. That's a good shot. Oh! Oh! 
<laughs> oh, sorry. Woke up the next morning um, on a bank holiday Monday, uh, and the first thing I thought of when I woke up in the morning was I want to go back and play paddle. <laughs> uh, today uh, it's bank holiday, but it's also April Fool's Day. And as you know, I used to be a bit of a prankster back in the day, but I've never really done anything for April Fool's Day. For me, April Fool's is all year round. Um, I like to be an April Fool three, six, five days of the year. Uh, but this morning, um, <laughs> it was quite funny when Diane, we were watching uh, Georgie, Georgie Eats on Instagram, I'll put a thing here. Um, she did a post that was her making uh, for breakfast, just jam on toast. Um, and Diane was like, that's a bit odd, isn't it? Like, you think it'd be a little bit more advanced than just jam on toast? And I was like, no, I think it's just, um, it's just, you know, so many recipes have been done now. So, you know, that sometimes it is just to keep it simple and, and do, do, do a tutorial on how to make things like jam and, jam and toast. Um, obviously, Diane had no idea that it was April Fool's Day. So then I was trying to think of what I could do to get her and I was thinking, oh, do I do the classic? Oh, there's a deer on the, in, in the garden. That's usually my go-to. This time around, I was, I was on my phone and I pretended that I'd just seen a, an alert come up on the news feed saying that Strictly is cancelled this year, thinking there's no way she would have been told beforehand if Strictly was cancelled. But I thought I'd just test, test it and risk it and see if she'd fall for it. And she did. She did fall for it. <laughs> She's like, what? No. Came running over to have a look at my phone at the news. And I pointed to today's date and underneath saying April Fool's Day. So this year has been a success. I tell you what the biggest April Fool's is. The amount of creasings on my jacket. This is where when you wash your clothes, you should always wash them properly and iron them properly. Because what the hell is going on there? So on our ovens, we've got this thing, a cleaning mode called Turbo Pyro. You basically put the oven on for two hours. It gets, I think, to about 500 degrees and it turns every single cooking residue inside the oven into, it carbonizes it and turns it into like an ash. So in like an hour and four minutes time when this thing's done, you just go in with a cloth and you wipe away all the ash res residue. And it's just a, a cleaner way of cleaning. No chemicals involved, nothing like that. It just cleans itself, um, which, is amazing and I was like yeah but the thing is how much is this going to cost in electricity compared to one of these things apparently watching a YouTube video this is just 25p 25p's worth of electric to 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 sort this out so it'd be 20 40 50p but the YouTube video I just watched about pyro cleaning was from 10 years ago and I feel like the cost of um everything compared to 10 years ago it's slightly different. Oh, okay. I mean, finish what has been, whatever this vlog is, a complete mishmash of different clips from different days with building this, with the help of this. So the plan is this thing here, which is like a bookshelf slash shelving unit with cupboards is gonna go right here because we've got this big sort of blank space of wall. We've got the mini fridge down there, which um, I actually got sent when this game came out, Back for Blood. They sent me this like, the game slightly early and this like care package that came with a fridge and beers which obviously to this day i still use um at the moment in terms of beer although i am drinking uh, moretti at the moment i've been really enjoying these which are beaver town um alcohol free ipa just as a little sort of like so you can still drink beer without the without getting drunk and feeling rough the next day so there has been a real surge in alcohol free beer and a lot of people are like why would you drink it without the alcohol in, what's the point of that? Well, for me, quite a lot of point because I like the taste of beer, but I don't want to get drunk all the time. And also before bed, helps me sleep if I don't drink. Um, although I'll make a very slight exception. Oh, do you know what? As soon as you open it up, you start to regret what you started. Well, I've almost done it, but I've stopped because I've managed to somehow stab myself with my Swiss Army knife. Because I need a screwdriver, and it doesn't come with a screwdriver, so I've been using my Swiss Army knife uh, to, there's like a screwdriver end on it. This is my screwdriver end, and it slipped, and that went into my finger, this little claw bit. Um, 
but hey ho, it happens. But it's finished. It's done. It's slightly lopsided. I ended up put, I put it here initially, um, and it just felt a bit swallowed up in that space because it's a bit narrower than I thought. So I moved the bar cart to here instead. So it's because it's near my little because it's near the, this chair that I've had for for ages now, but it just feels like it sort of fits in. Um, so I've got the little bar cart going, and then we've got this, which has some of my um, prized possessions, like my House of Games trophy and my trophy that I got for winning a roulette tournament randomly uh, in 2016, which is a whole another story, which maybe one day I'll go into. Uh, a globe, we've got a couple of books here, um, a cigar, an old cigar um, box, and down here, my little vibe creator. Um, but I like it, it's getting there. It's start, this room's starting to feel a bit more um, cosier. We've got some new pillowcases. It's starting to feel a little bit warmer. Got a bit of jute in there. You can never go wrong with a bit of jute. So I deem that as successful to a degree. It's, like I said, it's slightly lopsided, but now before I end today's vlog, there's another little thing that I wanna mention, which might be of use to you, might not. You may know somebody that could be interested in this, maybe not, um, but I thought it'd be good to put out there. Final Straw Productions, my production company, we are getting very, very close. We are, we basically, we're in production on um, a pilot episode for something that we've been working on. It's a self-contained like dating show and we would like contributors. So if, uh, if you know somebody that is single and could be potentially interested, um, I will leave a link down below where you can uh, register yourself to, to get involved. It's Final Straw Productions producing it. Um, but we're working with BBC Studios on this and we're going to make something really, really wicked that will be on uh, on a channel, which also um, I've not announced. So by the way, there's a, there's a Final Straw YouTube channel, which is going to be a place where we're going to put the Final Straw Productions things on. Some will be on my channel, Thatcher Joe. Some will be on the Final Straw Productions channel. Eventually, it'll probably all be on Final Straw Productions channel, but I think it sort of comes by a case by case basis of what we're making. And this one is going to go on the Final Straw Productions channel. But go and follow that and go and subscribe to that channel more importantly. I'll leave a link to it down below. But also, I'll leave a link below um, if you ever fancy being on a dating pilot for it, or you know somebody that would like to um, be on a dating YouTube digital pilot, then um, let them know. The link is down below. Uh, but that is where I'm going to end today's vlog. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe and all that kind of stuff. And I will see you again very, very soon with another vlog. But remember, I am not a daily vlogger. Goodbye.